Hey guys. Mm -hmm. Welcome home. Home sit home. So anyway, I just wanted to come here and talk a little about why I've disappeared. As you can see, probably I've not sat down, but let's talk about it. So I haven't been feeling well for like two weeks. For two weeks I got sick. So um, that definitely caused some unproductiveness in my content creation. But I want to, I would love to put more content in this new month. So I hope that, I really hope that I'm going to be able to do that. So I just felt like coming around here and saying, and saying hi to you guys and saying I'm, I'm okay. I'm getting used to staying alone. As you can see behind me, home sweet home. This is one of the things we manifested when the year was beginning. So I am really, really very grateful. The position I am right now, I'm very grateful because I've seen God and I have seen him working with him, him working with me. I've seen him gracefully holding my hand through this season. It was tough and maybe some other years to come we'll talk about it, like adapting to now, staying alone and unprepared, moving out. So maybe some years in a podcast we'll talk about it. But for now, I'm very grateful. I'm sitting in one of a blessing or one of a prayer time I was praying for. So I think that's, that's all. I hope you guys are doing well. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Even though I haven't been consistent, thank you so much. For those who subscribed a long time ago and have not yet left the group, thank you so much. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. If you follow me on TikTok, um, the same username, at Naotogoda, you have seen me posting content. They have been consistent. I always, I always try to make room for... 10 minutes or 5 minutes to make TikToks and post there. So if you haven't followed me on TikTok, go there, follow me. Also on Instagram, that's the same handle I use. At Nawakigotha, if you just search it, it's going to give you my page. Or even Facebook, if you're on Facebook, go check me out also there. I would also love to um, give it a try to solo podcasting because every time i keep planning to do it with people it, it, they, they just fail me for some for some reasons which they best know why they give me those excuses so i'm thinking of just doing it solo i had plans before we moved out come on i had plans before we moved out to do a podcast with my dad so maybe when i go over the weekend when i go to say hi to him i can record some few i can be recording some few podcasts if you really would be interested to hear such types of videos so yeah that's the plan probably i'll do less of the vlogs because i've noticed you guys don't like watching the vlogs so i'll do less of the vlogs maybe styling maybe styling types of videos uh, i've seen that styling and more related to work because the videos I've talked about work have the most views and I'm, land, I'm a, professionally I'm a land surveyor. So maybe I'll do more videos about that. We are doing, we, right now we are dealing with cabs. I started that project one year ago. So right now we are dealing with cabs and channels. So almost over and some shallow drainage. Then we'll be over with the project. So I can showcase about that, how to put levels on channels and cabs and then I can do more of the styling videos and maybe talks, just having those mini, mini podcasts or talks with my friends. I think that also is something I have been having passion with and have not been able to follow. We'll give that thing. I'm going to improve it. <laughs> I'm going to improve it. This was um, housewarming gift I was given by my friend Aurelia. If you don't know her, just check on my YouTube channel. Check Aurelia Pena. You'll get to see her... Um, You'll get to see her, um, her channel. So make sure you check the you check it you check it out. And what was I saying? Guys, what was I saying? 
so yeah doing some mini mini podcast here and there so i'll be doing that i think now i've gotten into a routine of how to conduct myself when i'm alone <laughs> not really alone but like how to conduct myself now that i'm living on my own and how to maneuver my time schedules for going to work and things like that so it's been different there's no one to wake you up there's no one to question you why you didn't go to work so you really have to hold it for yourself and hold yourself accountable to make sure you report to work to make sure you wake up early to make sure you eat for some reasons why i had i was sick like the doctor mentioned why are you starving and i was like no i'm not starving i'm eating then he mentioned no no there's a meal that you're skipping then i was skipping lunch guys i was taking heavy breakfast and heavy dinner so i was advised to take more intake of food and not think a lot i guess i was still thinking about losing our house or something or some other issues so which i don't think i have issues to be thinking about i'm too young for stress or anything like that so yeah so i'm feeling well right now i've been under medication i was checked my chest my chest had had pains in my chest guys eh? then all all around here it was but all like right now i feel like it's swollen i don't know if it's just me if you tell people to look they're telling me they can't see like it's swollen but I feel like it's stolen. So I've been taking medicine that has been helping with the with the heart pumps. Those people who do hold cameras, how do you hold them? Because I'm getting I'm already getting tired. <laughs> and it, and it six minutes. So I hope oh, I've been taking medicine and it's not yet over. But I went to the hospital today is on Saturday. So I went to the hospital last week on Thursday. They checked my chest, they checked my pressure, they checked my, what else did they check? Ulcers, if they have ulcers, and they checked everything, and they told me I was okay. Because I was tense, and it's, guys, it's years since I went to the doctor. This girl here has been having good health, and I'm grateful for that. So, that whole experience of feeling that was really scary to me. I was really afraid, I was really... I was really afraid. I, honestly, I, I was feeling like I'm about to just leave Athens and stuff. So I was really scared. It's really scared me. But it reminds you how we don't, we shouldn't take for granted good health. So right now I'm in good health and I'm so grateful and I'm believing God I'll never get sick again because, yo, if they try to tell me I'll, they'll have to inject me, that will be war. I hate. I hate needles. In fact, I was telling my, my family, if they had told me I need needles, I'd be like, let me come tomorrow. Let me, let me, let me come back. So, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this year has been a lot of sorrows, but anyway, I'm here. As I told you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe I'll also post some small, small TikToks that I've done today with this this outfit because it looks cute so i'm gonna post them on youtube just to remind you guys i'm still living i'm proof of life yeah <laughs> proof of life i even plated uh um how they call not less again they are two weeks in i'm hoping they're going to start to serve me this whole month so yeah anyway let me not keep rambling here so thank you guys for staying those 1,160, 1, I think I around 1,160, 1, I'm so grateful you guys are still here. So thank you guys and goodbye. Tell your friends, tell your cousins to subscribe to my channel and give me ideas guys. Give me, Don't be silent, like silent fans of my channel. Just give me ideas of what type of content you guys would love or enjoy seeing from me, yeah? And I'll be glad to do them. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.